In this video, we want to use the definition of the derivative to help us approximate the value of a derivative using a numerical approximation. We have a particular example here. Given a function, f of x, that's equal to 2 to the x, we need to use the definition of the derivative to find the value of the derivative at x equals 2 with four digits of accuracy using numerical approximations. The way that we're going to do this is we need to start by remembering the definition of the derivative. The definition of the derivative says that if I want to calculate the slope of a function at a particular value of a, I'm going to calculate the slope between the value f of a and the value f of a plus h, where h is some distance between the two x values. And then I need to take a limit as h goes to zero. In order to do this calculation, we're going to start by writing down a formula for our definition of our derivative. So for our function, the derivative at x equals 2 is going to be defined by the limit as h goes to 0 of my function at 2 plus h, where this 2 came from the x value that we wanted. And then we're going to subtract f at 2 and then divide by h. So this fraction is called the difference quotient. This fraction called the difference quotient calculates the average rate of change. And we're between two points. So here we're calculating the average rate of change the change in f over the change in x, as we go from 2 to 2 plus h. And so this average rate of change is not the derivative, but it's um, going to approximate the derivative. The definition of the derivatives is taking that average rate of change and finding out what happens as I take a limit as h goes to 0. All right, so the, this is the definition, and we start by just writing that down. The second step is we're going to use the formula that the function f of x is 2 to the x, and we're going to use that in each of these spots. One, we need to evaluate it at 2 plus h, and second, we need to evaluate it at 2. So if I'm going to calculate f of 2 plus h, the h is going to replace my x, and so I get 2 raised to the power 2 plus h. When I calculate f of 2, it's 2 raised to the 2 power, which happens to be 4. Consequently, my average rate of change, not the derivative, but the average rate, is going to be 2 raised to the 2 plus h minus 4 divided by h. All right, so this is the formula that I am calculating in the average rate of change. And so I want to now calculate a limit of this. We need a limit as h goes to 0. So we're going to approximate it using a table. My table is going to have my variable, which in this problem is h, because our h is supposed to go to 0. And I'm calculating my formula for my average rate of change which in this example is 2 to the 2 plus h four power minus 4 all over h. Now, because the definition of the derivative says my h is going to 0, I need to create a sequence of h's that's actually getting to closer to 0. Um, a really popular choice for this is to pick a sequence like um, 0 0.1, so that's a tenth, then 1 one hundredth, then one thousandth, maybe then a ten thousandth. And I'm going to use these h values, so these are my h values, and I'm going to substitute them into the formula uh, so that I can find out the value of the average rate of change. So for example, this first point, when h equals 0 0.1, the average rate of change will have a value of 2 raised to the 2 plus 0.1, that's the 2.1 power, and I'll subtract 4, and then I'll divide it by 0 
And if I get my calculator, 2 raised to the power 2.1 minus 4 and divide it by 0.1, I get a decimal value, so this is part of why it's an approximation, 2.870939 rounded at that last step. Now, because my problem asked me to find the answer to four digits of accuracy, I have to include at least the first four digits. Um, and I'm always going to include a couple extra to see if, they're, if they've stopped changing or not. So the first entry in my table will be this value. I'm going to do the same thing for each of the different values. Um, so if when I do h equals 0 0.01, my average rate of change is 2.2 to the power 2.01 minus 4 divided by 0.01. And on the calculator, so my next entry in my table is 2.782220. All right, so I'm going to now calculate the other two values and fill them into my table. And now that I have um, this level of my table done, I need to make a decision whether I can answer the question or whether I need to keep going. So the idea of convergence of a limit is that these values, my, my value should be converging to some number. And I need to decide if I'm um, actually converging. So as I look at the values, I can see that the 2 isn't changing and 7, 7's not changing, but this fourth digit is still changing. It's a 3 above and then a 2. And so I don't, I don't yet have enough accuracy to guarantee that I have four digits correct. Or even to, I never technically have a guarantee. I don't even know if I have reasonable assumption. So we're going to go a little bit further. Um, let's add um, some more values to our table. So, all right. So as I've added some more values into my table, I can see now that although the last two digits are still changing, I do have enough accuracy to give four decimal places, or four, not four decimal places, four digits of accuracy in my approximation. And so I can reach the conclusion now that my derivative at the point x equals 2 is approximated by 2.773, rounding up at that point. So this is how I numerically approximate a derivative using a table. Again, the first step is to calculate the formula for the average rate of change. And then I'm going to use a table, letting h go to 0, and I'm looking to see what is it that makes, or what value is the sequence converging to? I'm looking for uh, my number to converge to some value. And then finally, I interpret um, the value that it's converging to to say what the actual value is.